Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and I've got a puzzled ham here trying to do some uh, work portably. His name is Forrest. He's KC9JFX. And he says, Dave, I'm building an antenna using a 17-foot whip that may be mounted on the ground or on a tripod. Sounds a little bit like a Wolf River Coils antenna. I've got one just like that. I like it. How far away from the antenna should I be for good performance and safety? I will be running less than 10 watts. Thanks for your help. Okay. This sounds like something that we can answer by just going to the ARRL uh, exposure calculator, RF exposure calculator, which I've done here. And right up here I've said power at the antenna 10 watts, conversational single sideband, uh, you transmit for 5 minutes and receive for 10 on average. Antenna gain, uh, for your antenna be about 6 over an isotropic. Okay, and I put one of the worst case operating frequencies in there, 54 megahertz. It actually gets better as you go down. Now here's the answer right here. For a controlled environment, meaning you, the uh, minimum compliance distance is 1.2 feet. So you'd be like sitting next to the antenna for that. 1.2 feet is about, what, 14 or 15 inches, okay? Now, for an uncontrolled environment, and this means for people who don't know what you're doing, the, the um, minimum compliance distance is 1.7 feet, so less than 2 feet minimum compliance distance in meters is a half a meter. Now, one of the things that you have to consider here is that this calculator works for the far field. The far field of an antenna is when all of the waves kind of assume their final uh, form, the beam is formed, they go out linearly or whatever to their respective destinations, okay? Now, uh, the near field of an antenna is where you're within a couple wavelengths of the antenna. And the near field can be a little bit weirder but it's not going to be any worse uh, than what we're talking about here. So what I'm saying is if you're using 10 watts QRP, single sideband, like a lot of people do in these uh, circumstances, like for POTA and so on, uh, that's parks on the air or summits on the air, uh, you don't have a problem with uh, RFI causing a problem with you for health. So I said you won't have an issue at that power level. Just to be sure, stay a couple feet away. Now, here's the link. It's www.arrl.org slash rf hyphen exposure hyphen calculator. Okay, that takes you right to it. You can plug in the things that you need to plug in. And, you know, maybe you're going to do a different modulation technique like CW or something like that and uh, you can figure it out. Okay, so there you go. I hope that helps. Um, speaking about channel stuff, uh, please take a look at patreon.com slash ke0og and see if you could help this channel grow further uh, by becoming a patron of this channel. There are other ways to contribute too. If you look at um, dcastler.com that's d-c-a-s-l-e-r.com uh, forward slash support uh, all different kinds please click like please subscribe do all those wonderful things that we do with youtube and until we next meet 73